I am in such a good mood today. I feel like today's gonna be just such a good vlog today. If you watched my last vlog, you know that I kind of started off the year just like not on the best note. I kind of feel like it was, I don't want to say it was shitty, but it was kind of shitty. Like my new year just did not start off how I wanted it to. Things were just not working in my favor. But I'm feeling so much better. The past couple days I've been working on just like having a big new year refresh. Like looking back, I'm kind of grateful and appreciative that everything happened the way that it did because it's giving me an opportunity to have like just a fresh start. I've been cleaning, I washed my sheets. I basically did like my Sunday reset, clean my rug, clean my bath, like really just went out on the cleaning, vacuumed. I've been working on laundry. This is actually the last of my laundry. I have some clothes in my living room to put away, but yeah, finishing up my laundry. I have fresh clean towels and and there's a couple more things that I want to do. I want to clean my makeup brushes. I want to get fresh flowers for out in my living room and my kitchen. I swear fresh flowers like really <laughs> make such a difference. I've been working on like prepping for my puppy. I'm getting him in like three, four days at this point. So I've been working on doing some things for that. And I'm just, I don't know, I'm feeling like so much better. And I feel like today, like I said, it's going to be like a really good productive day. I'm going to wrap up this laundry and then I think I'm going to clean my makeup brushes. And then while they're sitting out to dry, I'm going to go run my errands, get some flowers and yeah it's like sunny outside today which it's been raining for like a week so it's been so depressing <laughs> even though it's already a week into the new year i feel like it's never too late to just start fresh and <laughs> feel good and get your apartment your space clean and your mindset right today was actually the first day that i've put on a little bit of makeup since i got my chemical peel if you watched my last vlog as well you know i got a chemical peel facial i'm like really trying to work on my skin in 2024 and just have like clear good glowy skin my skin has been peeling for like since tuesday well since wednesday i guess it started peeling on Wednesday. It's been like driving me crazy. I've been just walking around with like no makeup, barely any skincare because I'm not allowed to do too much skincare. And I just look like a freak, like walking around with peeling skin. And so today I was like, I'm putting on a little bit of makeup because I want to feel good. It might look a little crazy because like I said, yeah, it's still peeling, but I feel better. And I'm just excited to be vlogging for you guys today and finally be in a good mood. Makeup brush cleaning necessities secured. I think I've showed you guys this before, so I don't want to be too repetitive, but I basically had this little mat, which I think they have them for like five, ten dollars on Amazon, and I stick it to the bottom of my sink. This is literally the best way to clean your brushes, and I just grab all my brushes. I wet them a little bit, put their Sephora cleaning stuff on there, and just like rub them on the mat, and it really gets everything out. I think I want to try to do this once a month, Maybe every couple weeks actually like I said, I'm trying to keep my skin clear and I feel like bacteria builds up on these things so bad So I really want to be much more consistent with doing this all throughout 2024 This is literally the most satisfying thing in the entire world I just threw some sneakers on so I'm gonna go get some fresh flowers but the makeup brushes are all clean they're just drying they usually take like all day so I try to do them in the morning so I have them ready for the next day but yeah let's go is shining in here but the flowers are done i just got the pre-arranged bouquets at whole foods this one was like the spring bouquet which is so cute i think i'm gonna get rid of this plant i don't think i'm taking care of it well actually i don't know because my mom has one too and hers is doing the exact same thing it will not stand up straight so it just looks really crazy so i think i'm just gonna get rid of it but i have the little pink like tulip bouquet over here which is so cute and then this one was just i don't know i thought it was pretty so yeah those are in but my apartment you guys feel so good this is your sign like if you have not done an apartment refresh or like a home refresh for the new year. It's not too late. It's the best feeling in the entire world. My floors are clean. I put all the laundry away that was over here. Yeah, I don't know. Everything's just like in place and dusted and it feels so good. My bedroom even is like amazing right now. This is usually the one room that I feel like I don't actually keep super clean just because I feel like nobody really sees it. But like my floors are all vacuumed. Like I cleaned off that table. My sheets are clean. Beds made. I have my fresh towels hanging up. My robe. Also, you guys, random side note. I have the dog crate in here. Someone help me and tell me 
me if this is like a good idea or not I like I seriously need anybody who has had a dog and has trained a dog Please help me this vlog is going up the day before I go get him So it will be helpful to me if you let me know But I think i'm gonna start I usually sleep on that side of my bed But I think i'm gonna sleep on this side of my bed and have him sleep next to me in his crate I still have to figure out what i'm gonna put inside of it I was thinking like sheets or something that will be easy to wash in case he has like an accident I guess I should probably talk about this in my dog vlog But yeah, someone like please tell me if this is a good setup idea for potty training him I eventually want him to be able to just like sleep in my bed with me But I feel like when he's such a puppy like I have to make him sleep in the crate So I don't know if it's a good idea bad idea. So if anyone has any tips, please seriously like help me. I'm asking <laughs> Begging anyways, everything is all clean. This is the rug that I cleaned. It looks brand new every time I wash it, it makes me so happy my bathroom's all clean and yeah this could be a bad idea because it's like so cold outside but i think i'm gonna put on a jacket and go for a walk i swear you guys like when i was doing 75 hard and i made myself go for a walk every single day and like be outside for 30 minutes and get fresh air i swear it was like the most mentally healthy i've ever been <laughs> because it's been cold i haven't been walking outside for the past like couple months and i just feel like i am like crazy like i need it for my mental health i'm like i'll just suck it up i'll put a jacket on hopefully it's not that bad <laughs> just something about like getting outside getting fresh air moving my body is i come back and like my endorphins are just blowing i really think like i'm in a good mood and i want to keep my good mood going so i'm like maybe i should try going for a walk and something like about walking at the gym doesn't hit the same like it's you've got to go outside and like get the fresh air i feel like so i'm gonna try to go it's like getting gloomy outside again so i don't know if it's gonna rain or what but this makes me so sad i know it's like so cliche like everyone says the weather affects their mood but seriously like i need to move somewhere that's warm and sunny all the time because this is not it. Okay, it wasn't even that cold and I feel amazing. So I need to start doing that more, even though it's like chillier outside. Like it's still, it still hits and feels good. <laughs> Yesterday was honestly my first workout in like weeks. So I'm trying to like get back into my workout grind with this whole like new year refresh restart. I think I'm gonna do a Pilates workout. I did Pilates yesterday as well. I'm so sore, but it feels so good. And I'm just like, I don't know, I'm like happy. I feel like back to myself, back to my routine. And it really is just like about sticking to my roots for me. Like there's just stuff that I know makes me feel good. And when I do it and I show up for myself and I'm consistent with it, I'm happy. So it feels good to like be getting back into things. But yeah, I'm gonna tie my hair up and do a little Pilates. I'm about to roll out my mat, but how? Stunning. I had to show you guys. <laughs> I probably show this way too many times, but my apartment's so pretty when it's golden hour. I guess that's what you call this. When the sun's going down, it's so pretty. I literally can't believe you guys. Three days until there's a little puppy, a little baby in that little bed. <laughs> I'm so excited. Doing the, I don't know if I've ever done this one, towel flow Pilates sculpt. I'll probably just use my Pilates ball though instead of a towel because I feel like it's the same thing. I've been sitting on my floor writing in my... Planner, trying to plan out my week because once I get my puppy, I'm so annoying. I keep talking about getting my puppy, but once I get him, I feel like I'm not gonna have a productive weekend. Like it's gonna be all about him. It's just not realistic, honestly, for me to like plan for myself to do a bunch of things. I tried to plan out like my Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Very strategically, I'm gonna have a really productive day tomorrow. I got a text confirmation. I have a nail appointment tomorrow at 3:15, which thank God because I'm at the point where like my hair <laughs> is getting caught under my nails and it's so annoying. But I have that at 3:15, so I figured I'll just like really be on my laptop like all morning tomorrow morning until I go to my nail appointment. Just edit emails, knock of that stuff out and then the rest of my week should be should be pretty easy because it's the beginning of the month i don't have like a ton of stuff i just started trying to scroll on pinterest and look at healthy dinner recipes because i need to start cooking more but like here's my dilemma you guys if you live alone or like you cook wet for yourself you'll totally understand this i feel like i make myself a dinner i go out like buy all the ingredients spend so much time i put the leftovers in the fridge fully in time to eat them have them for like lunch or dinner the next day 99.9 .9 of the time all the leftovers go in the trash and i feel like i waste more money and more time and more energy and more effort trying to cook than i would if i just like go buy sushi go buy a salad like as much as i want to start cooking and that's one of my goals i'm like what's the point because i feel like it's more wasteful when i try to cook i don't know i guess it's kind of like a bad excuse i really need to probably just be a better planner and like make myself eat my leftovers um but yeah anyways i don't know i thought i could just try to pen a couple of recipes that look good to me and like challenge myself to do even just a few over the next couple months like new recipes so oh my gosh i haven't made salmon in forever that's pretty easy too because you can get like one serving at the store and that doesn't go to waste so i feel like that's a good one why did i literally forget about salmon 
to give you a quick rundown of all the products that I use for my little everything shower because I feel like I really have my routine down. So I'm going to run through this really quick because it might be boring to some of you guys, but some of you might be wondering. So I'm going to do my lymphatic drainage before I even get into the shower. I use the De La Heart wooden body tool. My camera does not want to focus. So good. And then I have the Palmer's the Vitamin E oil that i just put literally on my entire body and i'm like <laughs> soaked in oil and i just take this little tool and do like all the lymphatic drainage all over my body so that's step one in the shower i'm gonna wash my face with this cetaphil cleanser i typically don't use this but because i got my chemical peel i can't use my exfoliator so this is what i'm going to be using to clean my face wash my face for my body i'm out of my yep Anyway, I'm out of my Necessaire body exfoliator, so I'm not actually going to be able to exfoliate today, but I'm going to use my L'Occitane. I think I'm saying it right now. Body wash. I don't use like a shaving cream or anything. I really just like using body washes to shave. I really like this one because it's an oil, so it really moisturizes my skin. Like my legs are literally 10 out of 10 after I shave with this. So that's like all I'm gonna be using in the shower because I don't need to wash my hair and I guess I can show you guys what I'm gonna put on my skin well I can just show you it right now I'm just gonna show you it after but I just do like a bunch of moisturizing after I shave I use this well there's a couple things I'll use I'll use this L'Occitane milk what is it called milk concentrate or I will use which I'm almost out of it I really really like this stuff it's the hemp's triple moisture whipped body cream i've had to like take the top off and like shake it because it's almost out but it's so good and it smells really just like clean and fresh i don't like too many fragrances because i don't know there's like a clean smell yeah i think that's like all the products that i'm gonna be using today but i'm gonna take my clothes off and start doing my lymphatic drainage on myself I feel literally incredible. I'm gonna lay and do my legs up on the wall next. And I'm also gonna finish listening to this podcast episode. It's really, really good. It's the Skinny Confidential. They always have good ones, but this one's about like charisma essentially. And it's so interesting. And I just like need something to do while I do this. So uh, I'm gonna listen to that. dressed for the day my goal is to like put more effort into my outfits i have so many cute clothes and i'm like why not just be cute when i step outside of my apartment so i have all my girlfriend denim jeans which i feel like they're wrinkly and it's kind of like throwing the outfit off but still super cute they're my favorite this white strapless top off of revolve i can't remember what brand but i can try to leave a link to everything down below this jacket is princess polly and i'm doing a little hat to cover up my very dirty hair i don't know how my hair is already dirty but it's just like a little green new york hat i think this is also princess polly i have on gold jewelry rings hoops and yeah this is the little fit for the day i'm headed off to my nail appointment i don't think i'm gonna do anything crazy i'm like really out of my nail design era i'm really into just like french pink neutrals plain colors so i don't know exactly what i'm gonna do yet but nothing crazy so i feel like i don't have to like plan for my nail appointments that is what i'm off to do i've had a very productive editing morning i also think actually i'm gonna i need to leave like right now because i want to go get some lunch and pick that up on the way to my appointment i need to do a little perfume oh i also need to put deodorant on <laughs> the fact that i'm 23 and sometimes i still forget to put deodorant on is a little bit scary but i feel like it's just really bad for you bad for your hormones bad for your lymphatic like doesn't it cause like, cancer or something like i don't know anyways let's do some glossier today perfume yum so so good okay let's go
home nails are done i did like a really just like not i told her i want like a natural pink and she delivered like always she did one coat of one color and another coat of, the, of another color i can't remember what they're called so sorry but yeah super natural i'm in love loving natural nails right now i just changed i'm gonna go to the gym it's obviously like too dark too cold outside right now to go for a walk because it's nighttime i got home a little bit late because i went to my mom's to get a package i still get all of my packages delivered there i got another one of the skims dupe tops it's actually that red top that i was wearing this morning that's like a skims dupe off of amazon and i am literally obsessed with it i wear it all the time so i ordered it in black and that's what this is i do have this linked on my amazon store so if you guys are wanting one it's really really good i'm obsessed but yeah i just got the one in black and it's double lined really good material really high quality stretchy and i've washed my red one a bunch of times and it still is in really good condition so anyways got that i'm gonna head out to the gym it's actually a really good night for me to go to the gym the sauna always ruins my hair because i get so sweaty so it's actually like just good timing that i can go in the sauna while i'm at the gym tonight and not have to like worry about like i already need to wash my hair so it's fine it's not a big deal i'm gonna go do 12 through 30 and sit in the sauna and i'll be back hopefully in time to wash my hair and do all that stuff tonight as well i'm just wearing all black to <laughs> the gym tonight i'm bloated so black just like makes me feel slim i have on my lulu yoga pants and this little black crew neck with my nike air maxes and i'm just gonna leave my hat on because i honestly think it kind of makes this cute <laughs> the shower i feel so good i was like so disgusting but i obviously wash my hair i try to go like two three days in between hair wash days but i'm like so particular like when my hair feels dirty i have to wash it or if i have like a bunch of products some weeks i feel like i wash it too much but i try to go two three days i think it's been two days maybe since i last washed it someone asked for my hair care routine so i thought i would give you like a really quick rundown of what i do on just like a normal hair wash night there's a couple things i'll do weekly like hair masks and stuff and i can definitely give a more in depth routine in another vlog but on just like my normal shower nights i'm like very i keep it very simple in the shower i just wash and condition my hair with the trust deluxe prime line so it looks like this it's just the shampoo and conditioner obviously and then once i get out of the shower i'll spray a few sprays of this in the ends of my hair and then just brush it out with my wet brush i feel like less is more for me i have super fine hair if i do too much product it really weighs it down so i really have to keep it light keep it simple I always start with brushing the ends first because my hairstylist told me to do that. It helps with the tangles and like helps not to create any breakage. So I try to be like really gentle and the wet brush is really, really good. And yeah, that's literally it. I feel like less is more, like I said. And because the products are just really good quality and actually work, I feel like I don't have to do so much, you know? Also, I always let my hair air dry when I can. I try not to put heat on it unless I'm styling it to like go somewhere. I'm just gonna try to let my hair air dry tonight. I might not be able to because I never go to bed with wet hair, ever. I'm gonna drink my peppermint tea and read my book for a little bit. And if my hair is still wet, I'll just like take the shark to it really quick and do like a little rough dry. But yeah, I always try to let it air dry if i can made my little tea gonna cozy up on the couch read my book drink my tea and just relax for the rest of the night really trying to be better about not like scrolling on tiktok for literally hours before bed and reading instead so starting tonight